sub a minute, drives his team into field goal range, hit a long one to Mike Williams that set his team up in field goal position. They did take a penalty, but in the end, it's Dicker splitting the uprights and making this a 17-14 result, one that Los Angeles needed mightily, now 8-6, and six, and jumping into that AFC playoff picture, Tennessee, the slide continues, 7-7 seven and seven after a beautiful start. They're dealing with all sorts of issues, now an even 500 and needing something to happen in their favor. All right, guys, two straight weeks, two statements out of Justin Herbert. It was the five versus six game with Tua. And then here, driving his team down the field with less than a minute to set up a game-winning field goal. We're starting to check those boxes. You can take your social media quarterback somewhere else because this is a guy that's executing in the moment. Would you make a Herbert stay here and especially that last minute and a half doing what he did for his team? I think the thing that we learned about Justin Herbert was the resolve of Justin Herbert, right? He kind of struggled earlier in this game. Two interceptions. One was a magnificent play by the secondary, uh, Roger McCurry, tapping it back to his defensive backfield mate, uh, Kalu, to get an interception. And mm. then the other one was an unexcused interception to Kevin Byard. Now, Mike Williams could have fought a little bit harder to catch that, but you can't throw that to one of the best ball-hawking safeties in the league. But Justin Herbert, you talked about it, Moose, under a minute to go, right? Game-winning drive. You hear all this social media, you know, quarterback nonsense. Well, he gave you your social media throw to Mike Williams, <laughs> right, to get them in field goal range. Rolling out to the right, putting the ball where only Mike Williams could catch it to put Dicker to kicker in field goal range to win the game. Like you said, Moose, he's starting to check off all those boxes. Now the next step is to get into the playoffs and make some, make some noise. I'm so happy that I, you know, was able to witness the Chargers win an ugly ball game. Just mm. ugly. It was kind of dreadful, right, because it was slow low scoring. We're so used to seeing Justin Herbert be involved in these back and forth type of affair. But the reason why they were able to win this close ball game, Leger, I'm right there with you. That last drive was all Justin Herbert. But until then, the defense, yep. Yep. the Chargers defense came and showed out big time. If they did not play the way they played, yes, they allowed over 100 yards from King Henry. But outside of that, they had like four sacks. The Titans were 311 on third down. Uh, in totality, the Chargers only had three penalties compared to like six or seven from the Titans. Their defense played lights out compared to what to comp compared to what we've seen in weeks past from them. Remember, the Achilles heel for their defense was the inability to stop opposing teams rushing attack. Yes, they surrendered 104, 105 yards to King Henry, but that's King Henry, right? Outside of that, Tannehill had issues uh, when he was out of the ball game. Malik had issues as well. Defensively, this team came together, they rallied, and they kept everything in place until Superman and Justin <laughs> Herbert came to the party. So this is something we need to monitor because I feel like their offense they won't have games where they only scoring 17 points. We know this is an offense that's very, very explosive. Yeah. But if their defense can continue to play, they they play continue to play the way they played today. When you get Derwin James back, when you get Bosa back, look out if they can stay find a way to get into the playoffs. I know there are more, no moral victories as we've said in the past here, but this is a Titans team defensively that really outperformed our expectations as yeah. well. Over that three-game losing streak, giving up 30 points per game. You hold the Chargers to 17, but you also hold your fourth consecutive loss. It's tough times right now for Tennessee. Now just a game clear of those Jacksonville Jaguars. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.